Dear Mr. Jabor, very nice to meet you and this is how you start a PA46 Tango. So we'll go first for the battery. On. Just wait for everything to come online and set the brightness on both sides, otherwise we won't see anything. So you have your ITT right there and the torque that's going to help us for engine control and startup. We're going to go for the fire detection. So we have a fire detection loop that we test and we should have an indication right there. It's positive, we're happy about it. We won't put any light for startup right now because we don't want to use the battery. So it depends on the battery level, basically. So we just have to wait for this one because it will give us all the battery and engine information for startup. It's a tiny bit long, but it will eventually come on. Okay. So we added 195 liters. So we'll go for liters. Fuel added 165, uh, Which gives us just approximately what we need for this flight. So if we have the battery, this is the minimum you will use for startup. Anything lower than that, you need ground support. So we'll put the fuel pump on oil, manual. We have both fuel pumps on. Ignition on, we have ignition on. Nobody, the starter mode should be, the light should be out to say that starter will be automatic. And we're going to press starter. First thing you want to check is the battery. Nothing lower than 15 volts. Then we'll go for oil pressure, rising. NG is rising. Wait until it goes all the way up to stabilization and I'll put some fuel. Another thing we wait for is ITT and NG increase. So because the battery was slightly low, see we have a high temperature, which is within standards. So now we have NG stabilization. The pressure is a tiny bit high because the temperature is low here. The sequence is finished. So now we'll keep with the checklist. Fuel pumps should go on the auto. Ignition, we don't need any more ignition, so we're gonna off. And now we'll just go with all the checklists. And that was all you need to do for startup. Ta -da! Alternator comes on. Check for indication of alternator charge. And then generator can come on. Now all the charge is going on the generator. Perfect. Now unique everything is in the green. So now we put the bead air to start warming up the cabin. And environmental control systems should go normal. And here we're going to set the temperature for very high because it's only 7 degrees outside. We're going to test an actuator panel. All the actuators are on, plus these ones. Standby gyro instruments are on and caging. The off flag will come out, will come out when the gyro speeds up. Tell me what you can test the stall. Okay. And we are all good. So checking the trims. For the takeoff we'll use rudder trim three on the right and you set it with this knob. of flaps for takeoff. Okay, this is the reverse 
Wireless Lockout Test. I'm just pressing it. I wait five seconds. And then I can make sure the engine doesn't go into reverse mode. Otherwise, it will go. So this, you know how to do. Put the transport, the uh, pilot on. Okay, and now we are all ready for taxi.